Hello, hello there, my crafty friends. It is Candy here from SweetStamper.com, and I am here to share some a fun Silly Goose card project with you tonight. I'm really happy to be with you here. I just finished my dinner, so I've got a full tummy, and I am ready for action. Let's see. Well, I thought that I could get on here and get my computer ready. Very good. Okay, I am up and running. Hey, Linda, thank you so much for joining me today. I've been playing with Silly Goose. I, I must tell you that when I saw this in the mini catalog as one of the first things on my wish list, which surprised some people I know, but um, some people said, this isn't really your style. Actually, I love critters number one and number two I love the puns and number three you don't have to do a lot of coloring with these little guys so let me show you where we're going to go tonight um silly goose I've marked the pages is on page 27 in the um in the uh, mini catalog the spring mini catalog and um I'm gonna use the paper tonight from the uh, Country Gingham, I believe it is called. I used it on my Cards with a Twist. Yeah, it's it's here, Country Gingham is the name of this paper. And I'm going to use an unexpected color scheme. Hello, hello, Kay and Jeanette. So Jeanette was actually in my studio today and we were working on prepping. Um, this is my Twist Club for this month month, which you can take just one month if you want, but it is a, it is a subscription. And, um, I do eight cards. So this is what, this is what Jeanette was working on today. And let me tell you, there were little polka dots of cardstock everywhere all over the floor, but we do all this prep work for you. So you can just stamp and assemble and have fun. So this is the direction I went for my twist club this month. And I thought, well, I want to do something with um, the geese, but I'm going to go in a different direction. I want to do a totally different color scheme. These are pretty bright colors mixed with some soft ones. This is probably my, well, I can't say it's my favorite because I really like these cards. But this fun fold is really good with this paper. And this, I just, uh, for this one, I actually did the same piece of paper, just flipped around. <laughs> so... But it looks totally different, you know, depending on which side up you have. So that is Twist Club. You do, with Twist Club, you do get um, your polished pink ribbon. You do get um, a half a half a package of Hues of Happiness. And I think what I'm kind of keying off with the Silly Geese, Silly Goose, is I wanted to do something unexpected. And that's where I went with this Hues of Happiness. I thought this was an unexpected pairing with the geese. And so I'm doing something unexpected again tonight, and that is I'm doing an unexpected um, color combo. You do get these dots. I can't find mine anywhere. So you do get these glossy dots with your Twist Club. So give us a try. You know, this is a subscription. Uh, you can cancel at any time, and but if you do it for six months in a row, I give you a $25 product bonus, and I will be sharing that with you uh, probably tomorrow. I'm super excited because I started this in October, so the March is when the first round of free gifts is going out, and I'm going to share those with you. Okay, let's put this aside. And let's see where we are going to go tonight. I've got some blends markers here, and I'm doing a birthday card, and I'm doing a fun fold. So, uh, Corinne, thank you so much for sharing. Y'all know the drill here. Anytime you share one of my videos, you your name gets entered into the drawing for that video. So every time I do a video here on Facebook Live, I do a drawing for a for a prize. I do, I, I like to give away prizes and they kind of run the gamut. Now, was it last week? Yeah, last week I was with you five days. <laughs> but I, I have a giveaway for each day. I think we're still catching up with the drawings. But um, you do want to share 
And if you, when you share, you want to be sure to put shared in the comments and that way we know to add your name to the drawing. So I'm gonna use just two colors of ink and uh, mainly the memento because um, we're gonna make a little goose and we're gonna color him. And I'm gonna use the uh, mint macaron for the grass. Now, this is what the paper looks like. Again, this is the country gingham. So you get, what's interesting is you get red on one side and mint macaron on the other. So I decided to go, I wanted to use mint macaron. So let me show you how I came up with what I came up with. I went to my trusty color coach and these are created by Stampin' Up! for us. And I link these from time to time. I can link the file again if you like. So I went right here. Mint macaron, real red, and pumpkin pie. I thought, hmm, that looks like an interesting color combo that's a little bit unexpected. And that was the vibe I was wanting to go with. So I was just talking with Jeanette today about our great love for Z folds because a Z fold you can do in so many different ways. So this is actually just a half sheet of cardstock that is scored in the middle. And then this flap, the front, is also scored in the middle. So that, it's called a Z fold because when you look at it this way, it forms a Z. Hey Kim, I am glad you are here. Welcome, welcome. So we have Kim and Kay and Jeanette and Linda was the first one here. So welcome ladies, I'm glad you came out to hang out with me tonight. Okay, let's see. Where are my other elements? Here we go. Now, this is the unexpected part. You see that? You wouldn't really think that pumpkin pie and mint macaron would go together. Oh, I think I cut my mint macaron wrong. <laughs> oh boy, that is gonna be, okay. Well, we're gonna change this up a little bit because I cut my piece wrong. Okay, let's see. Let's use, what's on the other side of this? Do I have, I'm gonna use a slightly different one. I had one, ah, there we go. That's the one I want right there. Okay. So this is five and a quarter by four. That means I need this to be five by three and three quarters, which I thought I cut, but evidently I did not. So bear with me while I cut this real quick. Hey, Tasha, welcome, welcome, and thank you for sharing. And Sue Ann is here. So, Linda, you're not good at using unexpected colors together. Well, I'm going to show you a little, a few little tips and tricks with that tonight. I really do like the unexpected. I like cards that look like, wow, that definitely did not come from a factory in China. That definitely looks like it was made. It was made well, but it was made by somebody. So now this is gonna be at five, which I'm gonna come down here to get my, oh, did I, yeah, I think I did three and three quarters by five. That's what I want, let's see. Let's see if I did it right this time. I must have been not paying attention when I cut my layer initially, because I knew what that layer was supposed to be. Now let's see. Oh yeah, that's what we want to do. now. Before I go any farther, I'm gonna go ahead and do the goose because I think then it's gonna help you see where we're going. Now, I went ahead and cut out a piece of basic white cardstock from this rectangle stitched dies. And I'm going to do the little birthday guy because birthday, I think for most of us, is the most commonly used card that we have. And um, what I like to do uh, many times with a uh, a really um, detailed stamp like this, and I've got little shreddies on there, is I like to ink it from upside down. And one of the reasons is I am a heavy-handed stamper. And it's really easy for me with these red rubber stamps to pick up ink along the edges, and then I end up with halos, which I really don't want. So I'm going to just position my little goose 
and I do want to bear down pretty well with um, pressure because I want him to be well defined. I want him to have, you know, all the black is there and I've got a little tiny smudge right there, but we won't tell anybody and I don't think they will notice once we get going here. Okay. Now, I do not need to use that anymore. And the next thing we're gonna do is put a little bit of grass. And when I did this for my twist club, I actually didn't use any ink other than the blends and the, um, the tuxedo black ink. Cause I didn't, want, I didn't want people to have to have more than the one ink pad. And the reason being, I'm doing the wrong thing there. The reason being is one of the things I endeavor to do with my twist club is to keep the supplies that you need to complete the cards to a minimum. So I do like to um, utilize the supplies for the class in numerous ways. So we just used the, um, the blends marker for the um, grass. So you can just draw some grass. But they do, in Silly Goose, they do give you a little grass stamp and that is useful. Okay, this is gonna go here. I'm trying to be a little bit tidy tonight so I don't, it doesn't look like an explosion when I'm finished. Let's see. And I will say, when you have these small stamps like this, I do recommend, um, let's see, this is the A block. It's one, it's our smallest block, but you know, it really is, um, it really is a help on the small ones. Yeah, Corinne, I like that, just a shadow on the balloon. Now we're gonna use that unexpected color scheme. Now what I think I probably better do is grab my trusty Drury pad because I am gonna be using the blends markers and these do bleed through. So you wanna make sure when you use the blends that um, you have something underneath you that's gonna catch the um, any kind of overhang or any ink that bleeds through. Otherwise, yeah, you'll end up marking your table or your tablecloth or whatever that you, know, you might have under there. Now, I'm going to use because these are this is a small images, I'm going to use the small barrel tip. You see there, you can't even see that little smudge of ink. And this is the dark real red marker. Because you remember, our unexpected color scheme is real red pumpkin pie and mint macaron. And I think it's interesting because real red and mint macaron, not real red, real red and pumpkin pie are both from the, um, Regal's collection, and you just wouldn't really think to pair that with mint macaron, but trust me, it works. Now I'm gonna do the goose. I'm going to take the dark pumpkin pie and color in the goose's beak and his little leggies and feet. Now on my card class or my twist club, I used um, Daffodil Delight. So I think with these geese, you can either do them orange or yellow and they look really good. Now I am going to take the lighter, real red, and I'm going to make some stripes. Well, the stripes are already here. I'm gonna color in this little party hat like so, and then I'm going to take dark mint macaron, and I'm going to bring in that color on the top of the party hat here, and on these little tiny stripes. And that's gonna help tie in all three of my colors so that I have a harmonious look. Now, I'm gonna give you a tip, my favorite thing to do with this little goose, and truth be told, this works really well with snowmen or any kind of a, a line art image that is mainly white, 
is to take your light pool party blend and just outline your image. So I'm going on the outside and I'm bringing just a little, just a little bit of ink all the way around the outside. And it just kind of helps emphasize the goose. Or like I said, you can also do this really well with a snowman because all of that white against the white background, I don't wanna to have to color in the whole background with sky and make it into sky. And this seems to just kind of do that, uh, almost recreates that he's in the, you know, that there's sky around him, that there's air around him. I don't know. It just kind of, it's like that little magical thing. You see how it just gives him a soft glow and makes him really, really stand out. Hey, Sue, I'm glad you're with us from Ohio. Welcome, welcome. Now we are ready to put this together and put a greeting together. So what we're going to do is we are going to, now you see, I could do this, but that's a little bit too much red for me, unless I had a red background. You know, if I had a red or a black background, that would be different. But I did want to go really soft. And I think also because my Cards with a Twist has really bright colors, I thought, well, let me bring in something soft and see how we come out. Now, I'm using my favorite ribbon, the black and white gingham, and I'm actually going to tie it all the way around. I'm not going to um, like cut off the ends, and I'll show you why in just a second. Did I? I don't know what I did with my scissors. Here we go. So what I'm gonna do is just make a little knot over here and I wanna bring the knot all the way to the edge on this left side. And we are just going to make a little square knot. Hmm. Here we go. With the black and white gingham ribbon. And I'm gonna trim these ends pretty small. I don't want anything really this is gonna be a very kind of neat trim card. Now watch what happens. Look how cute. Isn't he adorable? I love him. I just absolutely love him. Now you could, um, you could also then put him on, on um, just a white or a black background and do a simple card that way. I think you could recreate this little guy in several different ways and come out with a really cute alternate version. So again, the um, my mint macaron layer is five and a quarter by four, and then my gingham is four and three quarters, no, five by three and three quarters. That's where I messed up. Okay, so that is on a little dimensional now I'm gonna put this down just on the left side because you remember we have a Z-fold card. So I'm anxious to see what you guys think about my color scheme because I think it's unexpected. I think it's really nice. It's fresh and fun. And I think that that's kind of, you know, the little geese. I think, you know, something that's a little funky it just goes well with the geese. So this is going to go right along there, like so. And I think my fold is just a tiny bit off, which is going to bother me. So let's see if I can rectify that. And then we're going to put a little bit of white on the inside. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add just a little extra touch and show you something that I like to do on my cards when I can. This was actually just cut off, you know, when I was cutting this layer. So I actually really like to stamp my greeting for the inside on some kind of a tag. Um, I punch it out or something to where if I mess up, I haven't totally ruined my card. Now, truth be told, I have a white layer here so it wouldn't totally mess everything up, but this kind of gives just a little bit of extra. And again, this is just, I'm going to stamp it, ink it up upside down. And then, voila, I'm upside down again, but that's okay. 
And now I'm going to take my Baby Boss machine. This is the new one that you could get during a celebration. This is the Boho Blue, which is one of our new in colors that we haven't totally seen yet, but we get the idea right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this greeting and I'm gonna bring it in really tight. And I'm gonna do that with this something fancy dies. There's a little, little skinny one here, super skinny. And this is going to create a really, really tight um, edge all around my greeting. And I'll show you why I'm doing that. Okay, here we go. This is going to go right here. Like I said, it's super tight. But that is by design, and I'll show you why why I'm doing it this way rather than, I could just cut a thin strip and that would be that. But there is method in my madness, of course. So when you do this, what happens is you get this little beveled edge around here and it has just a little bit, a little bit more presence than just a flat piece of cardstock. So it just, you know, I think sometimes you just do those little, those little differences and it makes actually a big difference because it just has that little finished look. So what I'm actually going to do here is I could put this here, but it almost doesn't fit. I'm going to put that on the inside because to me, when you look at this, it makes you want to open the card. I mean, look how stinking cute that little guy is. So let's just go ahead and put this down. And you could add an embellishment, to be honest. I really felt that this was a, uh, an instance of less is more. So that's going to go there, and that is going to go there. So that when you open the card, you can see this cute little tag. A silly goose told me. It's your birthday. So there we go. Super simple Z fold. And we've done some coloring and we've done a little bit of gingham ribbon to go with the gingham paper. And we used an unexpected card scheme, not card scheme, color scheme of pumpkin pie and mint macaron and real red. So, um, Somebody said on here that um, an unexpected color scheme was maybe hard to work with. So I think the key for me was to use a little bit of one. These colors together, I'm kind of like, wow, that's red and orange together. That's a little bit much. So what I did was I have a lot of pumpkin pie and I have a lot of mint macaron and just a little pop of red. And that to me, helps it all come together. And I do think that sometimes we get hung up on having to always have a greeting on the front. This little goose is going somewhere for a party. That is very apparent. And I think he just kind of beckons you to open the card. And then when you open the card, then you can see a silly goose told me it's your birthday. So that is my uh, free, quick, easy... Um, card for you tonight, fun fold card, using Silly Goose. And you'll want to make sure that you sign up for my Twist Club this month. And you can make eight more goose cards. And the registration for this runs through the 12th. So you do have time. Uh, we are well into prep mode. And you'll have some paper that you'll work with. That's the only thing you cut on this class. Everything else is done for you. And um, you'll have some paper to use for this and have a little bit left over. You'll have these fun glossy dots and this gorgeous pink ribbon. I love it. And I think honestly, you know, if you took this exact same color scheme and you put this on a black background, you'd have a masculine card. Because I think this little goose would make any guy smile and any girl smile. 
So that is it. Make sure that if you are here um, in the replay that you put replay in the comments, make sure if you are watching my replay on face, not on Facebook, on YouTube, that you give me a thumbs up and you subscribe to my channel. That way you'll catch all of my Facebook Live replays. And um, yeah, make sure that you share the video on, on Facebook and that will put you into my drawing for something cool. I got to talk to Jennifer and find out what. She'll post a graphic to let you know what is going to be the giveaway for this week. You have until next Wednesday to share and you have until the 12th to jump in to uh, Twist Club. Again, this is a club format, but you can just do one month if you like. But I will say I would jump into the club format because you save money on the packet. You save money on any add-ons you might want to to do, uh, but even the packet itself, self, uh, you save money by being a club member, and then you can you can unsubscribe at any time. You can cancel your subscription after one or two months if you like. But I will say my Twist Club is really popular, and it is something that I absolutely love, love, love designing for. Okay, that is it for tonight. Thank you so much for being here with me to create a silly goose fun fold birthday card. Thanks so much. Take care and God bless.